Hello, I'm Edgars and welcome to my channel and in this video you will see me walking in the pink socks with green crocodiles and dropping a phone on just painted skull About this video it's a nine skull ensemble which can be attached to the wall as there is nine skulls uh, I will split the video in two or three parts about the music, big thanks to my piano teacher to let me use her created music and the link to her channel I will leave in the video description so what tools and materials I used in this project the first thing is one millimeter thick cardboard as I find out uh, it is called ESCA board and then there is paper, glue stick, owl, knife, drill, spray glue, super glue, dremel tool, nitro varnish, alignment sticks, PAT sandpaper, putty, black primer, uh, 400 grit sandpaper, abrasive gloss, primer, clear coat, paint, and finally, most essential thing, new pair of pink socks with green crocodiles. It uh, give you crafting plus 10 and a little bit of magic I used the model of skull I created for previous projects I found the angle I like and uh, cut off unnecessary side I sliced it in one millimeter thin slices made the patterns out of those slices and printed them on paper With the help of the glue stick, I glued patterns to the cardboard. I marked the drill hole places with the owl. I came to conclusion that uh, drilling holes before part is cut out is uh, much better, especially for smaller parts. Cutting off in drilling process uh, torn cardboard. Marking the drill hole places and drilling holes in the board. Applying spray glue and gluing part to the previous. As I didn't read the instruction of the spray glue, as always, because uh, instruction you read only after certain fails, I wasn't sure if it will keep uh, all parts together good enough, so I added some super glue. Brushing off cardboard dust and adding a few layers of uh, nitro varnish. Uh, 
matte and clean cardboard skull before uh, adding a new layer. Spraying with uh, black primer to indicate when I will sand through the putty and I need to stop. Every time before adding a new layer, I mat the surface and uh, clean it. This video is not sponsored by putty makers, but uh, first video there was a lot of questions what putty do I use, so I decided to show it in this video. It is a bumper fix putty for plastics. With the help of uh, 80 grit sandpaper, I sanded down the putty to make the surface smoother. I repeated the same process to adding putty and sanding it down till the result satisfied me. was good enough, I sprayed the skull with the spray putty to get rid of scratches from the PAT sandpaper uh, and sanded it with 400 grit sandpaper. Sprayed with uh, white primer and it was ready to be painted. Three skulls from the first part was completed the same way. As the wall I plan to put them on is uh, looking like this. For the time being I put them on the other wall just to see how they look. And I'm happy with the result. Thank you for watching this video. Patterns you can find in the video description and see you in the next one.